Hi, Bob. How are you? Hi, going great, Megan. Yeah. Well, I first want to welcome you to the chapter. Thank you. Um, and as the chapter president, I wanted to sit down and talk with you about just a few things. Um, and then the whole goal of this, our meeting, is to tell you a little bit about the chapter, but then really the big part is that I really want to get to know you a little bit better. Good. So we'll go through biography sheets and games exchanges and things like that. Super. Well. All right. All right. Perfect. So first things first, let me talk to you about the leadership roles. Okay. So, you remember how at the chapter meeting and we have everybody stand up sure. and introduce themselves and all that. Um, so I just want to give you an idea of who does what so that it's easier for you to know who can be a resource for you depending okay. on what it is, all right? So first, my job is basically to facilitate the meeting primarily, so make the visitors feel welcome, all those kinds of things. I also have an awesome team that you saw. Right. So um, the vice president, they oversee the, the membership committee and then they keep track of all of our statistics. Okay. So you've noticed our statistics, right? right. Yeah. Right. Was that one of the things that's, that you appreciate? That, that's impressive because it's not just an organization that does things just to meet every day for coffee or whatever, but they actually hold people accountable, which is yeah. pretty important to run a business. So I like that. Yeah. So the vice president and the membership committees are the ones that would, that would do that. So if there's ever a conversation that needs to be had around you know, uh, is it attendance or is it something else? Those would be the people who would probably be talking to you about okay. that kind of thing, all right? Secretary Treasurer, if you haven't met with them already, right. yeah, they, they are, are gonna talk to you a lot about the, you know, the fees we have as far as just keeping our chapter meals and right. things like that. Um, they are also gonna talk to you about the biography sheet, right. how we use that, and then, um, and how to get you on the speaker rotation as quickly as possible. So that's what they're going to do. Um, the education coordinator, you've noticed that person, right? right. Okay, so. Amazing. Yeah, the, the, you like the education right. piece of it right. as well. Yeah, so that person is, they're probably the big, they become kind of the expert in our chapter about all things BNI. Um, so if you ever have a question that you don't feel comfortable going to someone else with, they could be a person who can help you find okay. resources there. Yeah. Mentor coordinator, you've met with that person already yes. so yes. far. Um, so that is, I, I like to call them the person who you can ask all the dumb questions to. Um, so if you ever have anything of, you know, a one to one is not happening, you know, and you, you're having trouble getting a hold of someone, any to do your passport and things like that, that that's going to be the person who's going to help you through that process. And it also, B and I appears to have some really amazing processes and, and things that you do to be successful. And I think that mentor coordinator looks like the person I can go to to make sure that I go through the proper steps Absolutely. to get up to speed as quickly as I can. A hundred percent. They will, they should be leading you through that entire process. If you have any challenges with that, please come see me because we want to make sure that you have the best onboarding experience Great. you can. Yeah. So from there, we've got our visitor host team. Hopefully mm -hmm. they made you feel welcome they, when they you can. were a visitor. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> So that team is really our welcoming committee. We want everyone to, to, to really feel welcome. Um, if you are interested in learning the background of why the visitor host, um, Dr. Meisner, the founder of our organization, mm -hmm. has a great story about how that came to be and things like that. But okay. um, yeah, it's better to hear it from him because right. he's way better at telling the story. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of our leadership team. Um, all of us are here to help. All of us are here to make sure the chapter is running effectively and things like that. So if you have any questions going forward, please feel free to reach out to any of us. Super. As we go Thank through. you. All right, perfect. So the meeting agenda. Do you have any questions specifically about things that might or might not make sense to you about it? I, no, it's. Uh, it, it, I like the fact that everything is structured. Uh, the. Uh, I was first a little bit uh, disturbed by limiting the amount of time each member Person has to, yeah. to talk about, but then the more that I understand that everybody's time is valuable and you can only absorb so much information yeah. from each one of those people that, that, that that's a pretty intriguing process there that uh, looks like it's working yeah. really well. Uh, especially when they start being specific, you can see the lights go on in people's minds about, I think I know that person. Yeah. And I'm going to get you hooked up. Yeah. So that that that's that that's pretty good. And we all have our businesses, so knowing that we're going to end on time is important too. Yeah, absolutely. So that uh, so I, I see the the value in that uh, the, the agenda there. Yeah. So the weekly meeting is almost the same as it was as it was 30 plus years ago when B and I was founded. Um, and everything really does have a purpose. So one of the things that sometimes B and I members get confused about is you know can we move this? Can we stop doing that? Highly recommend before 
ask why, and we'll, we'll be happy to, to help you with that. Right. Um, and again, we've got some resources that, that can help train you on, on all the whys of how the, how the agenda is run as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah. All right, so let's talk about engagement and weekly commitment. So one of the big things that you've kind of already seen with the numbers and you've mentioned all of that is, is that we want to make sure that everyone is really engaging in giving referrals and things like that. And one of the things that we have learned that's really important to new members is that they feel like they're contributing right away. So I want to help you make sure that you feel like you're contributing right, right away as well. Have you, have you kind of felt that way that you're... Uh Yes, it's uh, in learning how to break down my business so I can talk about specific things uh, is adding some discipline even to myself and to my business. Yeah, we do have a lot of people who say that actually. <laughs> is It forces me to think about who I really am looking for and who I really want and right. all those things. So, um, so I'm glad you're getting that experience as well. So um, you're going to hear several of us talk about expectations, but a couple of the things that you can really do to help the chapter is, um, is one, just get to know everyone. Um, we don't expect you to p pass referrals to people you don't know, so we really want to encourage you to get to know everyone right away. Um, not only will you be able to pass referrals to them, but they'll be able to pass referrals to you as well. And then the other thing that you can really do that helps us is, um, is actually inviting visitors. We don't necessarily expect you to invite people that you you, we want you to invite people that you feel really comfortable with, but that is probably the biggest way that you can help us because our networks are really almost revolve around BNI members already, mm -hmm. and you probably have a, a lot of people who aren't in BNI that you know. Right. Um, so if there's a way that we can brainstorm and help you figure out who might be somebody who you could invite, or even the person that you meet on the street as you're, you know, as you're networking, um, that would be really, really helpful to our chapter. So that's probably the easiest way that you can start contributing. Okay, now. great. Yeah. And what's cool about visitors is they don't even have to join because they bring value by hearing what everybody's marketing messages are. So, um, so that's also really helpful. And they can probably even help some of the members that are there anyway. Well, absolutely. I know that person. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. And then also, it's really they're they're coming to promote their businesses. So we like meeting you know meeting visitors all okay. very often. Does that make sense? Yep. All right, perfect. So one thing I wanted to to mention to you about um, what you received in your your member success pit kit new member packet is that we have the member policies. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not going to go all over all of them with you, but I just wanted to make sure that you realize that you have kind of what are all the policies. You will um, have several people in your one-to-ones that you'll have going forward with the passport. Go over some specific ones about it, but I just wanted to point out that you actually have Okay. This. And then the other thing I wanted to point out is in your passport, um, here on page seven is our code of ethics. I really appreciate the code of ethics. Right. <laughs> Right. And the reason is, is because I know if I do these things and the member, all the other members, we all agree to do these things, then we're all going to just, it's going to be a really fun way of doing business. And, and that's a great reflection too on, on B&I as a whole. You know, they actually have a code of ethics that appears like that comes up every so often in the meetings anyway to remind everybody, you know, let's make sure we do things correctly. Absolutely. Absolutely. And then it's just makes things fun, right? Because I think one of the things that new members, or not new members, people in general don't always get is that if we're positive and supportive, people we're going to attract people. And if we are building goodwill and trust always, that's what this whole foundation of BNI is built upon. It's going to be really hard for me to pass you business if I don't like know and trust you. Right. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yep. Thank all right. You. Excellent. Well, that is all we have to cover for the passport is concerned. Okay. So now okay. I would love for us to jump into um, the Gaines Exchange and the biography sheet to get to know each other a little bit better. Okay. Does that work for you? Great. All right. Sure does.